Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. I am your runner runner. This is Bill from Project Mayhem. And we didn't go to SHOT Show, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Let's get into the video. SHOT Show 2018 just got past us, and there's a lot of things to cover, a lot of things to talk about. Um... Some what? really cool and interesting stuff, and just based off of all the coverage we saw, we just kind of wrote down a quick, like, our favorites that we're really looking forward to, uh, to come out. So, um, I started off the last video, this one's going to be a lot less serious than last week. Last week we were, we were kind of on a roll, so. Needed to cool our butt hurt a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, had to. Had to pull the toilet paper out of the freezer and cool that down. So, uh, I started last week. Bill, why don't you kick us off? Do we want to start with the pistols first? Or just go with the well, no, let's go with that one. All right. Just, so, go, just go down the list. Yeah, something game. we're uh, both excited about. Yeah, it actually both We live here one. for half the year. We live in the great Arctic north. Uh, <laughs> CO2-powered pistols. <laughs> Instead of getting... Regular green gas pistols, putting CO2 mags in them, and then not working. Looking at you, we tech high capas. I, uh, hey, my AW, I had to. I, I know, I know. I'm gonna go into this now because I'm oh, angry. God. I'm okay. angry. <laughs> I have an the AW. The butt hurt is back. The butt hurt is back. The butt hurt has returned. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> my, I have an Armor Works high capa, the 2000. Eleven, I think it is the the gold and black and silver one. I love it. <laughs> Works fantastically, but it's green gas. And I had some of the remember the high capacity fifty round. Oh yeah, mags? yeah, yeah. And it would empty like not even half the mag. It yeah. once it started to get cold outside. Oh yeah, once it got below like you know seventy. Yeah, I would. Which get is a lot like three quarters of the year here oh yeah which is fantastic for everything but green gas yeah and uh <laughs> yeah 30 rounds at the most but so i got a co2 mag from we tech which is the oem for aw for those of you that don't know and um it worked fine <coughs> until i had to take the co2 cartridge out which i then had to drill a hole in it after emptying the co2 i almost didn't that was funny. But I had, <laughs> I had to drill out a hole through the center of the bottom. You're, you're the reason they put <laughs> warnings on products, Bill. Nah, I'll survive. <laughs> but I had to drill a hole in the bottom of the CO2 cartridge and pull it out with a pair of freaking pliers. It was that stuck in the magazine. Yeah. I don't even know where the magazine went anymore. I think I just threw it in the corner of my house just to get it be gone from my sight because I was so disgusted with what I just had to do. So more guns that are designed to work on CO2 is going to be a lot better for those of us that live north of, you know, the main, uh, not going to say that. Uh, <laughs> you know what I was about to say. Yeah. Um, like those of us that live north of the southeast. You or know, where we not actually in California where yeah. it's you know, <coughs> decently, well, well, most of California is decently warm for yeah. a good chunk of the year. But uh, I mean, like, it, well, and, and there's not a lot of indoor fields here. Here in Colorado, that like there's that one. we've gone to, uh, there's <coughs> one, and it kind of depends on who you talk to as to whether it's good or not. And so for us, having a pistol that works year round is hugely beneficial. I know what everybody's gonna say, but Elite Force has their 1911. Elite Force has their 1911. It's like, no, that's great that the 1911 is out there, and it's awesome that that and that then it's awesome that those things work as well as they do, but. When you're like, yeah, I, okay, I'd like something other than a 1911, you're SOL. I mean, they're just, they're not there. And I know the Elite Force just announced that the Glocks are, the, the high-end ones, right? The high-end Glocks are going to do Yeah, their the premium CO2s. version has yeah, CO2. Yeah. yeah, the premium version. Right? And neither of us are a super fan of Glocks, but something ASG, we brought up. Uh, a no. Yeah, ASG though. Them mm. with their the the, the, the two CZ, CZs. The, yeah, the two CZ, the, the PO9 and the SPO1. They're going to be doing uh, CO2 in those. And was the SPO1 shadow in that urban gray? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that. And by the way, ASG, you did it right. You said 
Oh, we're going to release this y- this year. Oh, by the way, it's already on its way the, to the distributors. Yeah. Announce, well, it, announce it and ship it the same time. Yeah. That's yeah. well well played. Well played. I am yeah. I'm 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 going to probably be buying back it. Back to the Glocks. Oh god, yeah. Um <laughs> Like, even though we're not super fans of Glocks, pretty much the spotlight is directly on all of the Glocks. And if the CO2 works out as well as we know it's going to, I'm hoping more and more pistol companies come out with CO2-specific magazines that'll work right. Look at you, WeTech. And listen, <laughs> I already have an HPA Tap Airsoft drum magazine adapter for that. I know, I know. High cap, but I I'd know. like to use it as a normal pistol still. Yeah. As much as I like the hater, because it's fun. Oh yeah, I'm sad about it. Also, somebody come out with more discs instead of just the two pack for those. Because um, I lost all four of mine on the field. Yeah. Can somebody make a custom, like, Kydex, like, retention thing for those discs on the field? How cool would that be? Just hook it up to your oh, belt? Oh, that'd be just... great for me, because I, well, if I ever get more. Well, they sell them with five discs, and I know that's the first yeah, thing. Yeah, but I that... lost four. Them. I know, and I, I every know. single one that wasn't in the gun, I've lost. Yeah, but we <laughs> more more <laughs> options for CO two pistols for those of us who aren't lucky enough to live in a warm climate all year round. That's what we were excited for when we got some of the announcements from Shot Show, and that's really great just to cool. see that variety hit <coughs> multiple different platforms. Are you dying? I've heard for he's dying. All right, we're all um, dying. Every single day. Every day. Slowly. Yeah. Anyways. Especially <laughs> once you hit like 30. I think it's, 20, I think it's 24 or 26. No, no, no. Healthy. You're not even out of puberty until you're 25. Yeah. I think okay, this, this. Wow, this conversation. <laughs> holy. Okay, so what was... So you started off. Let me see... Yeah, your next one. That's not the pistols. That's not the pistols. Ooh, no. I'm excited about this one, though. Um, and this encompasses. says... So my personal thing that I'm excited about, just because I think it's going to be fun as hell... Is as long as it works, the Jag Arms double barrel shotgun. Oh yeah, that's what I didn't put on my list. Yeah, I we were talking covered. about that. Yeah, and, and a lot of their other shotguns actually, they got some some tactical shotguns coming out that oh, yeah. are real. Did you see the, the that mm-hmm. short that short barrel? Yeah, the super itty bitty shorty. Oh, like dude. That. But yeah, he's more excited about those. What I'm really excited about from Jag Arms is the Master Key. Yeah, yeah, I like Master I, Keys. That's something that look, obviously the scatter cannon. You can't not be excited about a twelve how, round, a second, oh yeah, twelve round at a time shotgun. I can just see that being so fun on the field. Like, take out all the tactical, whatever. A double barrel shotgun that's slinging twelve BBs at a time. That's just that just sounds like fun. Is it gonna have range? No, it's, it's a, a shotgun. shotgun. That is gonna be. I can just see that being a blast. Out indoor arenas are gonna dudes are gonna lose it over that. Yeah. And, and the other thing too is if you put both of the barrels on the three, you still get six, and double the ammo of a single bar. True. Yeah, that is true. You, I mean, as long as they fix their leaking issue from the last. They supposedly they fixed it. Supposedly, supposedly they supposedly. fixed it. And um. Supposedly, Elite Force was coming out with the Glocks in December. I posted that message on my Facebook a couple days ago. Uh, I missed that. That they they came, yeah. It was um, uh, and for those of you that don't know, Elite Force uh, on their Instagram came out and they That's very what? lightly covered um, a couple of the um, reasons that the Glocks didn't get released last year the way that they wanted them to. Um, there were legal issues. They had to uphold certain quality standards, things like that. It was a very, very brief message, obviously, uh, through through uh, Instagram. But um, I I thought it was nice that they put that out there. Um, I'm glad they did. I think it was a little, little too little, too late kind of situation. But if there were legal issues that they have to deal with, I mean, they, they have to deal with it. Um, we have licensed Glocks in the U.S. Now we're going back to that. But anyway, I digress. So... The shotguns, if Jag Arms can pull off their shotguns, <coughs> um, I'm really excited for that scatter cannon. I think like that's gonna make me like a ten year old kid again. And that it's gonna be single trigger. Just yeah, to... that's gonna be cool too, having the single trigger. Cause that's I'm about to get off topic. 
Them double barrel pistols. They got two triggers. I know. That's weird. That's weird. I know. I don't I know. can understand in like an over under shotgun with pistol in front and back or a side by side with pistol in front and back. Yes, that but at no point are you gonna want to fire a single barrel with that Jag arms. What they should do with the um um with the scatter cannon is have uh oh I can't think of it. It's uh I can't think of the name. It's where the it, it, it's it's two triggers, but the but they all but they function close, and the second trigger is uh, like half the way pull back on the first one. So oh. you pull. Uh, what the hell is it? No it's like a double. Um, this is gonna be another hour long recording. Yeah, probably. But no, you know what I'm talking about, though, right? I know what you're talking about. I don't know that so either. it's it's one it's one trigger setup, but it has it has two triggers there, and I cannot remember the name for the life of me. Yeah. But. You pull that first trigger, bam, the first barrel goes off, and then you complete the pull, and bam, that second shot goes off. They should do that with the scatter gun instead of both barrels going off at the same time. So that way when you pull it, it's six and six. As like a the six Ooh. comes out in a follow-up shot. Wow, that yeah. 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 That's actually a very good idea. Yeah, that would be I know none of the manufacturers are gonna watch this, but <laughs> No, 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 nobody's watching this. No. Nobody's, nobody's watching, watching this. this. We, we're watching this. We're going to watch it. We're oh, going to yeah. watch it. We're going to watch we're it. We're like, oh, look at how nerdy we are. Um, yeah. uh, all right, so that was uh, that was my thing. What, what's uh, what's your... <laughs> my next thing, ever since, only, only, literally, only because I got that vector from the EBIT giveaway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I never explained that. I haven't come out with a video on my channel for that yet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't released any of the vector gameplay because the first so, game got all screwed up. Yeah, I know. So... We have pretty much a ritual. Every EVIC giveaway that they do online, we tag each other in. Because you've won, what, a swag bag and a pair of gloves? Yeah, yeah, I won that. I won a pair of gloves, and then I won their, their EVIC swag pack giveaway, uh, which is really cool. Because they sent me like a $35 or $50 gun bag, a, a Nalgene bottle, a USB thing, and then some other, like, uh, some other crap that I, I have no idea where it is. But that rifle bag can hold a lot and i and then i won the pair of gloves in another giveaway so i've actually won from evic twice so they they do work like if you're just like oh, oh yeah. no they do and then this lucky sob so black friday they had their vector aeg giveaway chris vector uh tie tack chris vector blah blah but I, i'm like yeah whatever sure because i don't win anything ever and I went to go to emissions, blah, blah, car broke down. I'm sitting there waiting for AAA, and I'm watching U.S. Airsoft on YouTube like I always do. And Shout out to U.S. Airsoft. Your, your yeah. stuff is awesome. We watched a lot of oh my God. Uh, the we shot watched show coverage, yeah. Pretty much all of it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I get a message request from Matt EVK. I didn't realize that's what it was. It didn't register. And I'm just reading the message. It's like, congratulations, you won the Chris Vector EG giveaway on the blah, 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 blah. And then it clicks. And I'm like, that just said what I think it just said? And then, oh, the adrenaline kicked in. And sure enough, they sent it about a week and a half later. And I ended up buying magazines for it before the gun got there. So they just sent it all at once. And now I have a Vector AEG that I've joked about buying like six times and never did. And now I have it. Yeah. Which segues into where we're at now is I noticed in the EVIC... Crytac booth, they had a bunch of mostly external parts for it now. That two tone stuff looks so freaking good, though. <clears throat> yeah, as does all the Cerakote. Yeah, they they really ramped it up with the Cerakote this year. Yeah, like that that was like a hallmark of their of their entire booth setup was the Cerakote. But that a lot of the I I will say this, Crytac is doing a great job with parts support for the vector like they knew that thing was going to be big and they mm -hmm. they they did it right i think i think they're... like if you and get... I, don't, I don't own a crytac i like lots of m4s from crytac and airsoft's a fantasy sport so i'm gonna play with the fantasy guns that i'm never gonna get on in real life but yeah and i wouldn't own one if it wasn't for dang it but and yeah, like if you look online, they sell all the internal parts that are proprietary to them. And you can get version 2, everything else everywhere. But the stuff that you need 
for the Vector itself they sell. And, of course, the buffer tube adapter, the pistol arm brace sling, which is going to be ridiculous if you ever put your arm they, in it. Because it, it holds here. Didn't you say they had, like, the, the three-foot-long... That was like uh, barrel shroud and extension for the vector. Who showed us that picture? Somebody showed us that picture. They made a four foot long vector. Yeah, it was a vector with a four foot long barrel on the, the end of it. Yeah, that picture Matt's holding it like that, and it's yeah. off the screen. I'm like, how I think are... they made that for fun, but that's hilarious. Made it for fun. I mean, but I also saw something that I still have yet to see a video on, and I saw it in Jet Desert Fox's video, and they completely ignored it. On the Crytac wall of vectors, down in the bottom right-hand corner, there was a carbine-length vector. Yeah, they didn't talk. And it was the thumbnail of the video, too. No, no, no. That, no. The thumbnail of the video was the black and green two-tone one with the oh, jet yeah. handguard. Yeah, they ignored right. that as well. But I that's like, just I like that the they're vector. bringing out a lot of that the colored stuff to deck out the vectors in different ways, Because as cool as all black looks, having colored parts... For the guns keeps me from painting them. Yeah. And I have a problem with painting things because I enjoy it. And I have 14 cans of spray He's paint. He's tried to paint everything that I own. Because you want to change the color. The and babies, then complain. The babies, the dogs, the cars, cows, guns. Have, I have never once wanted to paint your crap ass cars. <laughs> everything else though. <laughs> well, so he, he, well has but, a, he has a black helmet. And he's like, oh, I'd like this tan. I'm like, well, I have 14 cans of tan. No. Why don't you No, we painted paper? that. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. No, you did not. Well, yes, you painted your helmet once and then covered it. <laughs> yeah. And then now you have my helmet. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Vector stuff coming out, Shot Show. That was also exciting. Remember, um, we told you this is not going to be a serious discussion. Yeah, this was after last week. Like, we do not need to. <laughs> this is our stress relief now. <laughs> yeah, last week we were a little heated because just we are. Um, ooh, um, the, kind of two topics. So, the, the gun I'm excited for uh, the, uh, the KWA uh, TK45. Ah, that does and, go and, along with the Vector. It, it does. I like, and this segues into a whole other conversation, but the, so, so a lot of these pistol caliber like rifles are coming out and on top of that, um, so there's that variety and that whole new market that's kind of, well, not new market, but that all that that's coming in. And then on top of that, you have the variety, like the G threes are coming back. Um, oh God, what was another one that's, come, um, I have one, but I know it's not the one you're thinking of. Uh, which one? I'll say it anyway. Red Wolf is coming out with that Lee Enfield. Yeah. That all wood for more of the World War II thing. Yeah. That, I don't do World War II reenactments, but that's cool that they're delving into that. But a lot of variety this year. A lot yeah. of variety that I saw um, <laughs> at SHOT Show. Which segues into my third point anyway. Uh, the amount of submachine guns they are coming out with is ridiculous. All the pistol caliber stuff. Uh, who's making it? Don't forget. Don't I, forget. I don't remember who's coming. The MP7 AED. Oh! Oh, crap. Who is making that? <laughs> yeah. That. And it's and it's an AEG, too. It's not an AEP. They're actually doing a gearbox. Did you see that? Yeah. It's, They're it's, actually doing, and it's going to have the full power of an actual... I know it's EVIC. Is no. It EVIC? No, it okay. might have been at their booth. Uh, He's going to look it up. Yep. But, th but see, and that's what I'm saying, is that there's, there's a lot of variety coming out this year. And when we were playing back in the day, but, you know, like before 2010... They're, they're Elite actually, it, it was Elite Force. Yeah, of course it's Elite Force. <laughs> those guys are going to, those guys are going to be like the Disney of the airsoft world. They're just going to do everything and own all of it. Anyway. Um, Speaking of which, did you see Sony's trying to, or no, Disney's no. trying to buy Sony? We're not getting into this. This is airsoft, <laughs> Bill. But my Spider-Man. But, <laughs> my Spidey. Anyway. Um, He's going to be a Disney princess. A lot of. That's one thing I'm very excited for was just the amount of variety that I saw. And um, it, it was really refreshing to 
when they're like, hey, look at this new thing. It wasn't like, oh, what M4 are they going to show now with the different kind of rail on it? Well, this one, this one has this kind of rail. But what we did, and I'm like, oh, God, you just painted it. It's the same thing. And I'm sorry. And I know are people are going to be like, why do you go? I don't hate M4s at all. I don't hate the AR platform. I have shot my whole life real firearms. I don't hate the AR platform at all. But I treat Airsoft as a video game type thing because I don't play video games. And so for me, it's like I want to be able to kind of horse around with some of the stuff I'm never going to be able to touch. And I look at it that kind of like fantasy loadout type thing. And you you get to have variety. You get to, to, to do that in Airsoft. And that's one of the biggest things that was really refreshing to see with a lot of the different platforms coming out. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, the KWAT 45 it looks just like the ARP-9 and the Vector had a baby and what it's, that's fine. It's their own take on it. And it's great to see that competition come into the market because it's going to push these companies to provide the best working gun because now they're not the only one making, you know, a pistol caliber AR platform. Mm -hmm. And it's really going to push for that competition. The G3s are coming back. People have been begging for G3s for a long time. I've been playing Airsoft again for about a mm, under a year. Not, un, not even a year yet. But I have been watching and getting back into the Airsoft videos and stuff for oh, like a year and a half, two years now. It's been a while. Like This has been something I've been really watching and, and looking into for a while. And the one thing that I've noticed is a lot of people out there are going, where's the variety? There's a lot of people out there saying, hey, I've been playing for a decade. What the hell happened to variety? Because nothing, n n no two people when we played when we were kids had the same thing. No. Even if we were, and some of us didn't have clear soft guns, some of us did, but no two of us played with the same gun. I had a single shot shotgun. Yeah, you never saw, you never saw the same gun in our group that we had. No. And I, a lot of people, from what I'm to understand, kind of had the similar experiences that they didn't see the same thing. So 2018, I think, is going to be the year of variety for Airsoft. Which brings us to, I know, your last point, and I didn't even include it. No, you got to let me bring that up. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, we're going to get into that. Okay, fine. This, yeah. <laughs> but we're starting with 308 is becoming popular. 308 style yeah. caliber. Yeah. Different guns with different calibers. Now, before we get into that, something I found weird. Ebic is making an M4 AR that takes AK Max? Yeah, I saw that. That's weird. <coughs> I saw that. I was like, why? <laughs> I mean, and talk, it's, talk it's about put, I mean, talk <laughs> about putting a square block in a round hole you know what i mean like yeah, well you know it's um it's it's uh having a hair merger where instead of buns you have taco shells <sighs> that's some of the things i saw at shot show i was less than <laughs> well I, that's <clears throat> they're kind of like when you see concept cars you know it's not going to be like that when you 100 percent, but Problem is, the shot show is they're already in production. <clears throat> so a lot of them are 308. Anywho, 308 and DMR is becoming much more popular. Like Classic Army is coming out with that heavy battle rifle of theirs, and oh, yeah. a lot of their G3 variants as well too have a mode called full auto lockout, where instead of single fire, three round burst, five round burst, full auto, you have single fire only, no matter what. Which some fields like ours. Single fire is all you get anyway. Depending on your jewel limit and all that. But, I mean, if you're going to be running a DMR, you might as well build it for the jewel yeah. limit. Yeah. I mean... Like, take advantage of it. Yeah. I mean, that's why we run some of the guns we run at our field. Like, that's why I run my UMP. Because of my jewel limit on the field. And that's why I'm really excited for some of these pistol caliber uh, car... Um, you know, just this variety that's coming back is because... Because of the jewel limits that we have at Kiowa Creek... We are allowed to use different guns at, for different capacities. So if I go, I want to take a DMR out, and it's 1.8 joules, 
I can carry my UMP on me, assuming I can find a way to do that. Okay. And I can take long shots, and then people come up. I come up, full out of those guys, because I can, because of my jewel limit, at no minimum engagement distance, and then go back to my 50-foot minimum engagement distance with my BMR. That's something I think is really going to help a lot of fields out there really just yeah. just get a really good diversity of rule sets on the field. Yeah. And for me, that runs an LMG all the time with my minimum engagement distance. I would like to be able to go up and support with the rest of the people because I get often just when people are yelling move up I have to reply this is as close as I can get to our objective sorry and then of course I can't shoot at the enemies at the objective because there's my entire team in front of me and I'd have to mow them down to get to other people so yeah minimum engagement distance are distances are hard in the urban environment which it would be nice to have uh, higher capacity CO2 magazine pistol or a submachine gun that fits in your hand. That's why I was so excited about the AEG MP7. The sun bitches. Oh, big. I know, dude. That's you can literally just yeah. carry it on your hip, and and that, someone's gonna come out with a holster for that thing. Someone's gonna that's come gonna out with a hip cool. holster for that thing. That's gonna be cool. Well, I am not. A already... fan, I'm not a fan of how they look, but the practical use on those is yeah. awesome. Well, the only other like. Some of the only other full auto ones you got like that are like the CZ Scorpions. The are they CZ? Yeah, there's CZ. Yeah, there's the little yeah, Scorpions. The ASG. Oh, know. oh no, the little no, no no the little guys. Those aren't. Um, They're still check arms. Are they? Yeah. I don't remember. But no, the little Scorpion pistols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about all you had, and then of course the Tokyo Marui electric pistols. I wouldn't run an AEP. No. I wouldn't run an AP. But uh, I, eh. we're we're getting back to the topic we're it, talking we're getting, about. Well, we're still we are, we technically still are on the variety of airsoft, and this is this is our format for the yeah, talk show. Th- oh, dude, this one. we, I put a thing on my Facebook. It said we're gonna have fun topics. We're gonna talk about random stuff. It's podcast style ish because we're not doing this live because I don't want to buy the equipment to do that. So you need equipment. Um, I need better equipment. Anyway, I don't know how so, to live stream. Yeah, I don't. It's a pain in the ass. Anyway, yeah, I've looked. It's not, like, I've looked P- it's not like the PS4 where you could just press a button and it live streams itself. They do that now. Yeah, you can live. Keep stream. in mind, you can, my, my, I know you don't have one. I do. I don't. Know. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, so. the, the PS4 live streams straight to YouTube for oh. those of us that don't want to see our own faces. God, wow. I am so far out of our social culture. Like, remember how he said he doesn't play video games? He's not kidding. Wow. I keep up with a lot of games because I have friends that, that play, and I so I keep up. But anyway, so... Um, let's His kids bo- use the PS3 for Netflix more than he uses it for literally anything. Yeah. 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 Anyways, 308s. So, yeah, go on. I mean, you just... You know you want to talk about it. No, no, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. Because nobody else is talking about it, and it's pissing me off. But His panties are a little bit. I'm just saying it's awesome. If you have not found it, I don't blame you. I saw two things on it. Two. Three. Because uh, Gun Gamers talked about it. I missed that. Yeah, they talked about it in the beginning. No. Oh. Of the podcast that they did now when the hell did they do that yesterday yeah yeah that was a good podcast yeah so anyway yeah so just so you guys know this is february 3rd when we're recording this this is like when you guys see this we will probably be recording the next one yeah um we do this on saturdays yeah we do this on saturdays before we go and play ourselves on sundays i just got in from on the road so yeah that's why why his hair is what north south east and west right now (laughs) but anyway so I have I seen literally rose. three people talk about this. Um, I saw it briefly on Unicorn Leah's channel. I saw a post on Evic about it, which they didn't even do a video on it. And then I saw the Gun Gamers, they just talked about it. The Crytac MK36H or Mark 36H essentially is an M14 uh, licensed by Os- Osprey Arms. Osprey Arms. Osprey. 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 Yeah. Okay. I've That's heard preferred. it said a couple different ways. So, yeah. but anyway, licensed by Osprey Arms. 
One, it is a stunning looking platform. That especially bronze if, and yeah. black. Especially oh if it comes down bronze and black. God. Mm. So and it's essentially what it is. It's an M, like an, it's an M14 that's really been more modernized to have more functionality, like an AR. And kind of like I, the EBRs. Yeah, it's similar to the EBRs, but they really incorporated more of the AR style. It, you know, it, it's. It looks cooler than the EBR. It, it does. It does. It is. It is. And I it, have an old EBR before they were called EBR that I got from a friend of ours. It, yeah. It, that looks better. <laughs> it's, they're sleek. They are stunning. It's going to shoot six millimeter. I don't care, but here's my big thing. Why this makes me interesting. Crytac is starting to branch out. Now, like I said earlier, I probably wouldn't own a Crytac because they do a lot of m4s ars and for me that's just not that's just not my thing on the airsoft field i just you know that's just how i am a lot of people like them however i've been on the receiving end of crytax he has a crytax it's not an m4 but it's the vector as we talked about earlier yeah. i have seen those things shoot out of the box and what they are capable of and if crytax is starting to branch out and not just do M4s anymore, the rest of the airsoft industry better get ready to catch up. Because with the exception, because I and Crytek is a very good aftermarket parts support, and they kind of need to, because I've heard ish things about their first gens of anything. But if Crytek is branching out into other platforms, the rest of the industry better watch out. Because if they start getting licenses for doing pistol caliber weapons, SMGs, things like that, which we already know they can do. If they start doing these other, I always said, if Crytac comes out with a Scar H, oh, <laughs> my, my paycheck's gone that week. And that's what makes me excited, is you're going to have somebody like Crytac who just build something out of the box really well i've been on the receiving end of probably a ton of them at this point if not more just this year yeah and they all shoot ridiculously well and really really accurately especially that lmg oh yeah that thing sucks oh yeah the the one that's the on good the strike system yeah. Yeah. yeah that's um god what was his name yeah i know yeah don't don't say names but, but you know who I mean. Yeah, I know who you mean. But that's the thing. I've been on the receiving end of tons of Crytax at this point, and I don't even own one, and I'm a believer. And, now I do. And, and yeah. now he owns one, and out of the box. I haven't had to do a damn thing to He it. hasn't done a damn thing to his. And our jewel limit is one jewel at the chrono for pistol caliber weapons um, to when, do full when, auto. When, Five shots, his vector shot one jewel every single time on the dot. Still is. Still is. Still is? Mm -hmm. After, what, two, three months now? Yeah. Yeah, we just, I had a chrono. Two we, months. We chrono every time we go to the field. Yeah, you, yeah. You have yep, chrono. still one jewel on the dot. Yeah, one jewel on the dot. That's ridiculous. Oh, and, by the way, the suppressor I put on there just to get the stuff out from the handguard. I added a handguard to mine. I don't know for those of you that didn't see the picture. I'm 6'5", six, 6'4". Six, I have to shoot the vector like this without. I put a handguard on it because I learned how to shoot with full size shotguns. Yeah. And I think it looks cooler, but the mock suppressor I put on there did absolutely nothing to up the FPS or the range, thankfully. Yeah. Well, the range, the thing for 150. Speaking of Crytac and good, the vector only has a 155 millimeter barrel and it's borderline regular rifle range. Yeah, it's the good for really fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that's what makes me excited. So not only is the Mark 36 just a gorgeous looking platform, I, I cannot get over that. I, I'm the, there will be a picture up here. It's probably already going to be up here. I'm probably going to throw it in. That's why he and I sit so far apart, so I can just yeah. make stuff appear. Also, why the wall is white? Yeah, it's t it's off white. Possibly dirty. Eh, no. Anyway, yeah, no, it's off white. So, but 
if Crytac is starting to branch out the rest of the, and I, I know I've said it four times already, the rest of the industry needs to get worried because you're going to have a company that's already really well known for putting out decent quality products and not just decent quality, but really good quality products. I cannot tell you the number of Crytacs that I see on the field every single weekend because they work. What did that just say? I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the camera just came up with a warning and it went away. Did it stop recording? So, yeah, industry, <laughs> everybody, be afraid. Crytac is branching out. Be very afraid. And Classic Army is stepping up their game hardcore as well. Yeah, yeah. There's, this is going to be a good year for Airsoft. This is going to be... Variety is coming back. CO2 pistols in there. variety. A variety. Not just like CO2 pistols, but a variety of CO2 pistols that are all shooting at CQB limits because that was the biggest problem with CO2 forever. Is Yeah, you go get a CO2 pistol that shot 500 feet per second. Oh, God, those non blowbacks, yeah. 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 You remember the, the ones you could snipe with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this is going to be a good year for Airsoft. From what we saw, from some of the coverage that we saw at SHOT Show, because obviously we did not go, but we wanted a good, nice, easy topic to talk about this week. So, Bill, you got anything else? Not really. No, I've complained enough for one video. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you guys so much for checking out the podcast-style video Thank you for visiting with us while we are on the couch. Um, I'm kind of hoping to continue doing these videos. I enjoy them. If you guys don't enjoy them, well, they're going to keep showing up. It's just a thing. I like want to have some real fun critique the pattern we have going on in this free talk we got because it was free. It was not free. It's it's like, like, what? It no. wasn't free? No. I thought it was free. No. This is like 15 bucks. That's close enough. To be fair, it's a full-size couch. It's not free. Couch. Yeah. Bill, I'm cheap. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining us for the kind of the first official uh, video of On the Couch. Last week's episode was more kind of us just ranting. But I really hope you guys enjoy just hanging out with us. I want you to comment your suggestions for s future topics for us to cover. Oh, my God, I stumbled there. Wow. We're leaving that in. Yeah, no, that's staying in. I'm not. That, that, I'm not going to cut yeah, much out not. of this one. This, this, this is... You get what you get. And that's what you're going to get with On the Couch. So come join us next week. Drop your suggestions down in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up with us in the future. And gameplay video coming out on Thursday. So look out for that as well. Again, my name is Royce. I am your Runner Runner. And this is Bill from Project Mayhem. I probably won't have a video coming out Thursday. Just don't use him as an example for my upload schedule, please, because mine is not that great. <laughs> I, have, I have problems uploading videos on time. I'm, I'm still working on a video from a month ago, okay? You cut me some slack. I drive for a living. And we will see you guys next time right here on Runner Runner Airsoft. <laughs> that was funny. New video coming out Thursday. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me.